Welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy VI. It is time for us to go to the floating continent. And in order to do that, we are going to have to... Okay, we're going to only bring three people with us. And uh, I'm going to want to tend to bring the most powerful members we can have in our party. I'm always going to want one of our mages to go along with us. So it's either going to be Celis or uh, Terra, but... We haven't really played with Cello since the uh, match that factory, so we're gonna bring her along. And who else are we gonna bring? Um, okay, uh, we want our most powerful members, of course. So Edgar, really, with his chainsaw ability, Edgar is pretty much the most powerful. And uh, I guess it's gonna be a toss up between either Cyan or Sabin. Well, most powerful, he's a higher level, so I'm going to bring him. Setzer, I guess, isn't a bad idea either. I wouldn't bring Locke, though. That's... Even though he's the highest level. Let's, uh... Okay. Oh, I don't have control. Oh, damn. What are those? Magitech weapons? Imperial Air Force. I may not have any armor on these characters. Hmm, probably should have done something about that beforehand. Oh, this guy's gonna do some damage. Of course, what do you know? Chainsaw this some bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, miss. Of course, chainsaw tends to miss a lot with more powerful characters, so that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Tell me she doesn't have, uh... Okay, I may have chosen some bad party members for this immediately, because I was expecting Celis to have some more powerful magic attacks, kind of like the way Terra does. But I guess maybe she needs to gain another level or something like that before she can get... Maybe I need to swap out her, uh... I need to swap out her... Her Esper. Ah, they'll, we'll be fine, though. This thing shouldn't be too hard to beat. Ah, oh, nice. That was nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there should be more. Uh, let's uh, make sure my characters have relics. Apparently they do not. <laughs> okay, we don't want that. We want... Uh... She doesn't have fire spells, so I'm gonna... Oh, I can't unequip a fucking... Oh, that's a shame. I can't get her to do more powerful... Uh... <sighs> Wow, this is not working out quite as well as I'd hoped. But I think we'll still be okay. Hm. They're basically the same enemies that we were fighting before. I may be a little bit less stupid this time around, though, and I'll be able to do a better job. Crazy damage. Crazy damage. There we go. That went smoothly. Can't go inside. Basically, just have to hang around out here until another group shows up. And we're going to do the same thing again.
Oh, damn. I just realized Cyan has a powerful physical attack. Probably should just be using that instead of, uh... Trying to use his sword tech. Next battle, I'll just use that and see what happens. Oh, damn. Must have got the jump on us. Our ATB gauges were completely empty by the time this battle started. Hm. Okay, his attack power wasn't as high as shown before. Must have just been a critical hit before. Something curious approaches. What is curious, I wonder? Boss battle, perhaps? What is that? <laughs> Some weird little... Hmm. Get up here so I can either kill you, or you can kill them, or... You know... I'm pretty sure there's gonna be killing. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, damn, it's Alteros. <laughs> Always with the same stupid squid thing. Trust me, it's our last battle. It damn well better be. <laughs> I'm sick of fighting this little bastard. <laughs> oh, crazy damage. Crazier damage. <laughs> Nuts. Each character only had one turn and we brought him down. Oh, jeez. Coupon. <laughs> Altruist brought an equally ugly friend along. And I'm pretty sure as long as we defeat one of these characters, we will, uh... We'll end the battle. We don't have to kill both of them. Which is... I dare say quite a good thing, because... Fighting two bosses simultaneously may not be the best thing, even if... One of them is just Alteros. What an irritating enemy, I have to tell you. Stupid little squid thing keeps coming out. I was, uh... Actually, I think I made mention of this a couple of episodes ago, but... In the game Final Fantasy XIII 2, there was a battle against Ultros. An optional thing, you go to the battle arena and you take them on, and everybody hates them. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Miss! How dare you miss! Not quite sure why Alteros feels the need to involve himself in this situation. He doesn't fight for the Empire or anything like that, he's just some chump that goes and uh, injects himself in the situations he doesn't belong in. Oh, okay, I think I was wrong about that. Ultros has gone down, but Tupan is still here. Eh, anyway, well, half of the enemy team is gone, so we might as well just beat the piss out of this one. It'll be fine. a lot. There we go, that was a hit. 
Ah, oh, that heals him. Use, uh... Use ice. Wind damage doesn't seem to be doing a lot, either. The whole reason what we're trying to do right here is because we're flying this airship over to the floating continent because, well, basically we were betrayed by the Empire, and you kind of had to figure that that crap was going to happen. I mean, never trust anybody whose title is the Emperor. It just never works out. I mean, look what happened in Star Wars. But, um... It's kind of funny that I think about this, and it appears as though the entire game we seem to have been playing into the Empire's hands. Because, ah, oh, we just lost Edgar. Okay, we lost all three. Shit. Oh, down they go. Air Force, laser gun, and missile bay. Okay, another battle. Oh, damage. The entire time we seemed to be playing in the Empire's hands, because every time we went and did something, it seemed to have worked out better for them. For example, Kefka was going and, um, was doing his experiments, and the Emperor was doing his experiments with the Magitek weapons and armor and all that kind of crap. And they were creating the Magitek knights and the Magitek armor and all that kind of stuff. And it seemed to have been working out pretty well for them, but there was always a limit to what they could achieve. Because, as was later revealed by the Espers, the only way that you could truly draw out all of their power was to kill them. And then they turn into Magicite, and then you could use the Magicite to do the, uh... You could use that Magicite to go and... Unleash, like, the most powerful. Utilize their power to the most extreme. A speck absorbs magic. Let's try and kill that spec real quick. And not use any magic until... Until we've had that thing taken out. That wasn't magic, that was a... a skill with the, uh... Okay, the spec's gone. But, I mean, for example, we went and we found out from the espers that the best way to take out, or the best way to utilize an Esper's power was to, uh, was to have them die, and then you could utilize their power fully. But, uh, well, that doesn't quite work out, because what we went and did is Kefka found out about that. He listened in on a conversation, and that resulted in, uh, them learning the best way to utilize that power, and now they're going and doing all that kind of crap. Then we go and we work with, uh... We go and we work with the Empire. Seemingly they want, to, they want peace, but not in reality. What ends up happening is they... betray us again, and we end up, uh... Damn it. We end up leading them right to the Espers, and then Kefka goes and basically gets all of the Esper powers. It was really fucked up. So, everything we've been doing has been helping the Empire out. Even if we didn't, even if that was something we didn't want to do. Hm. Oh, he's down. Okay, and, uh... Guys must be poisoned. They keep getting the, they keep getting knocked down. Okay, that was underwhelming damage, but okay. That's gonna take someone out. Careful, I could lose this fight. Okay, I gotta try and take that thing out before it has a chance to go and, uh... Before it has a chance to go and launch that powerful attack on us again, because that was some crazy damaging crap.
Oh, okay, now we can use magic again. Let's see if we can do something about this guy. Come on, come on, come on, take him out, take him out. I'm throwing all my eggs in one basket. I'm gonna try and kill this thing as quickly as I can before it has a chance to do anything. Rather than trying to heal up and withstand the attack it's eventually going to do. Just hit it with your most powerful hits. And it's dead. Sweet. Ha ha! Hmm, that looks pretty cool. Okay, we have landed on the floating continent, and this is where the point I'm going to take the opportunity to end the episode, though. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.